Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'm reading Mark 11 of the King James Version Bible and it reads And when they came nigh to Jerusalem unto Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives he sendeth forth two of his disciples and saith unto them Go your way into the village over against you and as soon as ye be entered into it Ye shall find a cold tide, where, whereon never man sat. Loose him, and bring him. And if any man say unto you, Why do ye this? Say ye that the Lord hath need of him. And straightway ye will send him hither. And they went their way, and found the cold tied by the door without, in a place where two ways meet. And they loosed him. And certain of them that stood there said unto them, what do ye, loosening the colt? And they said unto them, Even as Jesus had commanded, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus, and cast their garments on him. And he sat upon him, and many spread their garments in the way, and others cut down branches of the trees, and straw them in the way. And they that went before, and they that followed, cried again, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Blessed be the kingdom of our father David that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And Jesus entered into Jerusalem and into the temple and went and when he had looked round about upon all things and now the eventide was come, he went out unto Bethany with the twelve, and on the morrow, when he were come, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry, and seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if aptly he might find any thing thereon, and when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for the time of figs was not yet, and Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter for ever. And his disciples heard it, and they come to Jerusalem, and Jesus went into the temple, and began to cast out them that sold and brought and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves, and would not suffer that any man should carry any vessel through the temple. And he taught, saying unto them, is it not written, My house shall be called of all nations the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves? And the scribes and chief priests heard it and sought how they might destroy him, for they feared him, because all the people was astonished at his doctrine. And when even was come, he went out of the city, and in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up, from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, saith unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which thou cursedst is withered away. And Jesus answering, saith unto him, unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive, if if ye have heart against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, Neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. And they come again to Jerusalem, and as he was walking in the temple, there came to him the chief priests, and the scribes, and the elders, and say unto him, By what authority doest thou these things? And who gave thee this authority to do these things? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I will also ask of you one question. And answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. 
The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? Answer me. And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then did ye not believe him? But if we shall say of men, they feared people, the people, for all men counted John, that he was a prophet indeed. And they answered and said unto Jesus, We cannot tell. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Neither do I tell you by what authority I do these things. Alright guys, so we, we know that Jesus was indeed a very feisty man <laughs> based on his comments and based on his answers to the elders. But even in being feisty, he was still humble. Even though he was Lord of all, he was still humble. And that's just who he is. And that's how we ought to be also as Christians. Right? Also, we see here that there is power in our prayers. Because he said that once you pray for something, once you believe it in your heart, then you will receive it. As long as you believe that God is able to do it for you and God will do it for you, then it is yours. So count it as you already receive it. So are you lifting your faith to a level where you are expecting the blessings to come? Expecting to get all that you ask for? Are you praying with expectancy? Because that's what we ought to do when we pray. Believe. Because he said that we have power here on earth to bone. Anything that we bone here on earth is boned in heaven. And anything we bone in the heaven is boned here on earth also. He gives us power and he says, If you shall speak to this mountain and tell it to move, to be cast into the sea, it will do just that. So long as you have faith, there is power in having faith in God. That's where your power comes from. Your power comes through your faith. Your power comes through your prayer. Your power comes through your praise. So send them up to God. Lift your level of faith and raise those prayers, raise those praises to him. All right. So guys, I'm going to leave that right there. Please remember to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not gained it, then seek it. There's no better time to begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.